Yeah. Let me see, man. Look at these beautiful Indian women, man. They say anti-blackness in South Asian communities. So uh, let's see what these what South Asian people think about. We already covered what Palestinians think about black people about black people man um from their own mouths man not you know somebody telling me what they think i want to hear what they actually think. already already welcome to the upside down smiley show where we talk about real life but we don't take life too seriously my name is shireen and we have sindhu here sindhu is a diversity and inclusion consultant and communication professor today is going to be our part two for anti-blackness we did a video where we talked about anti-blackness in the South Asian community. And we um, asked our Instagram communities about how this shows up in their lives and examples. And so I know she be getting hit on by Allison. Man. Oh, man. man, I would go, I would go smack at her smoke. Stop <laughs> playing I, with me. I got tenants that where I work at, this how the this how the um some Indian girls look. Shit. Yeah, they be they be low-key bad, son. Huh? Yeah, when they bad, they bad. Yeah, when they, yeah, when they bad, they bad. Yeah, bad. What they set, Shit. they set be crazy. Oh, they, be, <laughs> they be musty uh, as shit sometimes. They don't, they don't, um, they don't have the same um technique. What's what's it called? They don't have the same bathing uh etiquette or practices that we have. Yeah, hygiene. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is different. It's different. But I, I bet you, if you, if you tell her like, "Yo, baby, this is how we do it over here," and shit, you yeah. know. Like, She'll clean them nice. Yeah, 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 like baby, every day deodorant. Because a lot of times, because I got African family, man, and it's not showers that's the problem. It's deodorant. If you just put deodorant, like me, if I take a shower, and let's just say I don't immediately put on deodorant within like 30 minutes, my right underarm will start stinking, and then the next one starts stinking. I can't even play. I don't even play like that, man. This is I put the other in on instantly. I'm like, man. I'm, like, yeah, I'm, like, I'm like the opposite. Like, I can go like a whole day without putting the other in on, as long as I don't wow. sweat bad. Wow. 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 Yeah. wow. Different kind of sun, man. <laughs> Yo, but, oh, but you know what? I, 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 a long time ago, I lived in a building with a bunch of with Indians, and um, they smell like they they smell pretty bad, and I I, I, I read Yikes. I read that uh I read that uh even the building would smell. I read that they eat so much curry that when you eat so much, oh, you sweat it. Yeah, yeah. that's what it be. Yeah, you're right though. That's it. Be like they it's like their food and like the stuff they cook. It's not it's not like they dirty, but like yeah, I think it's yeah, just it more comes just, out there. For, it's like the Asians yeah. with shark cartilage. Asians eat a lot of shark cartilage. And that comes out of your pores, and that shit smells like dead bodies, man. Um, yeah, so yeah, I, I could see that. I could definitely see that, man. Um, but yeah, it, if that's the case, man, you got to hit the shower, man, deodorant and cologne or some shit, man. So we wanted to share that. So one of the things that I realized after we, I put a call out to ask uh, people that follow me on Instagram and just my community of South Asian people on how anti-Blackness shows up in their lives is that a lot of people think that anti-Blackness is like overt racism, right? Mm -hmm. um, meaning like racial slurs against Black people or thinking that Black people, that you're superior to a Black person. And that's not really what uh, we're talking about Yo, baby, nobody covered up to no black person acting superior. <laughs> that shit'll get you fucked up, man. Real what are shit. These people thinking, man? They be thinking like you could just come up on a brother or a sister <laughs> and be acting all superior and shit. <laughs> the fuck are they talking about, baby? We will knock you the <laughs> fuck out. Right. <laughs> Stop playing with me, nigga. Yeah, it don't matter. Son sister, son man, it don't matter. The vice president yeah. don't matter. Yeah. <laughs> It's going to be up like you could tell like they have a she's like got a like a clinical or academia version of like racism. She don't have no real, you know, knowledge, real world knowledge of the, t of the topic. That's street, she ain't, she ain't got that street experience. Yeah, but you ain't, even the kids on her campus. She can't go up on them black kids on the campus and be acting all hoity toy. They go, oh, man, what them girls gonna be? They gonna call you out quick, man. Black folk ain't gonna let you do that. <laughs> shit. Real shit. Two seconds before they like, hold on, what the fuck, who the fuck you think you is? If she if she want to see real racism, she need to go to uh, 
son high school and see how they're going to treat her ass. No, yeah, it's 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 her. and especially if you're the opposite of race of being black, they don't care. Like, you're not black, it's worse. Yeah, I, what the I, fuck I, is she I, I, I used to see the, and I mean, not for nothing, but I used to see the sisters chase the, or, you know, go to the Umbreeder girls and cut their hair with scissors. Oh, and yeah. You know, Damn. I, I mean, come on, be real. Tell me that's not, I mean. I haven't seen that, but I've heard about that. I've I didn't know that was real. Yeah, funny. I ain't seen it, but I, I think I've seen I it. No, 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 I've, I've seen it. There was this one girl that I was cool with, but I stopped them from doing it because I was right there. But I was like, I was like a junior in high school. But yeah, I've seen it a couple times. Mm. Wow. Um, that's crazy. Um, and these girls got good hair too. Yeah, anti blackness. It's more covert, um, it's less uh, visible. And um, we have uh, grouped the feedback that we got into three different themes. Um, and we obviously don't have time to share all of the stories, but we're just going to share some significant ones to help you understand how anti blackness might show up in South Asian communities. So the first one was disapproval of romantic relationships. And I had an Instagram user reach out to me. Disapproval of romantic relationships. So they don't want their kids, they don't want their daughters or their sons getting with sons. You know how that goes. Black people do that too, though. Black people will say something like that about if you bring a white girl home, some shit like that. Hell yeah. Everybody in my family always tell me that shit. Like, you like white girls, don't you? They always saying crazy shit. Like they, 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 they would do it to like in, in a race too. Like within a race, they'll do that. You know what I mean? Like yeah, they'll dark shit skin, about light skin, and shit. Yeah, or like, like, like how they, you know, their 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 style. You know, if they're like a, not a nerd or if they're like a thug, etc. Yeah, black cultures. people are very judgmental, man. Um, but let's see what she has. Who happens to be Malayali and um, told me that his cousin just told her family that um, she was in love with a black man and his family was not happy about it. Um, he said specifically the older members of their family, the older generation, was just very upset, saying that it would be a huge shame on their family. And um, his uncle had called him and said, Are you ready to be a dad? Because when your first cousin gets married and has children, you know what's going to happen to this black guy that she's marrying. He's going to not be in the picture and you need to step up. <laughs> That's wild. Yeah. I love that stereotype. That's real, though. Oh, shit, man. That's crazy. Hey, listen, man. These people, I can understand these people, man. I can understand them. They, they don't have white guilt. And listening to people talk who don't have white guilt, you actually get the fucking truth, man. You know? They see us. And they can speak on us because they don't have to, um, they're not white and they don't have to worry about all that baggage. They get to just say, hey, man, all right, you ready to be a father? <laughs> y'all, y'all men in the family ready to take on this responsibility for this child? Because this, this dude is out of here. Hey, Based International says, I worked with some Ethiopian Muslim guys. Same problem. No deodorant and too much curry mix. For disaster. Yeah, salute to you, man, based internationally. Yeah, Ethiopians are not the best smelling people in the world either. Up and be a dad, right? The idea that, you know, black men are not fathers, they don't take care of their children, which is a stereotype. Yeah. Um, that's reiterated by society in many different ways. Right. And then um, well, it's reiterated by society. It's not the sons. No, it's school. not the lack of niggas doing their job. Yeah. <laughs> she, she knows single black women on the line walking around with by no, no fathers and shit. She's wild. It's society's fault. So she's a panderer. Um, I had heard a family member, an uncle specifically, we were watching a football game and there was a black football player on the screen. And I don't know exactly what, what we were talking about, but the topic of he probably doesn't have a father came up. Stereotypes are not all true among all black people. And yeah. I think it's just like this this conversation about like not people not having fathers and whatnot, this is like learned behavior. So in the same situation, the um, I've heard that that uncles 
daughter say things that are negative about black people. And so she's learned that obviously from her father. And with the relationships, I think another thing is a lot of us here, if you're a South Asian woman growing up in this country, mm -hmm. you've probably heard, you know, you can marry, you try to marry Indian, but you know, just definitely don't bring home a black guy. And yeah. for us, it's like, don't. <laughs> They're just pandering too, though. They're just pandering. That's good ass advice all the time. Definitely don't bring home a white guy. I mean, a black guy. Damn. So it's like, listen, I believe that one hundred percent. That's how they talk. Hell yeah. I know that for I when I was younger, Hell when yeah. I was younger, every race talked like this. It wasn't nothing bad. It was just like that's what it was. Right. was yeah, nobody exactly. wanted their race to. Even black people, it's like right. nobody wanted to they mix with nobody else. It's like. Black women, like you said, uh, black women used to be like, you, boy, you've been out break my grandmother. Everybody's talking like that. Like, why you got a white girl over there? Like, what? What are you talking you about? You can't use your clone. Don't bring her home. Yeah, man. Listen, man, this, 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 um, this chick right here, listen, she, I, I, she's got it. She's telling the truth. She's not saying anything wrong, but the difference between her and what you guys are saying is that. Yeah, black people will say, yeah, don't bring home, like, you know, a white person or whatever, or, you know, some motherfucker, other foreigner motherfucker. Latinos, they might not care too much, but even then, it's still like, yeah. you know, it's still there. But you no, know, what I'm saying is like, it's it's less, it's the lesser of all the evil. Yeah, yeah, probably, but, um, yeah. But this one, they're saying, it don't depends on, it depends on the Latino you're talking about, though. They're saying don't bring home a black person. They're not saying like don't they're saying everybody else is cool. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like you, you <laughs> just don't under no circumstance bring home a black person. So they they're singling out blacks. So she's learned that obviously from her father and with the relationships I think another thing is a lot of us here if you're a South Asian woman growing up in this country mm -hmm. you've probably heard you know you can marry you try to marry Indian but you know just definitely don't bring home a black guy and yeah. for us it's like don't bring home a Karaman and right. I was just yesterday hanging out with a friend who said that he didn't realize that you know he actually participated in anti-blackness but he has a sister right. and he would always tell her you can marry whoever you want but no Karamans right and so that in fact is an, an example of anti-blackness Right. And, you know, like for my family, my, my sister married a, a black man 15 years ago. And this was very long, a long time ago. But she's still alive. Damn. <laughs> yeah, but she didn't finish the end of the story. Dude. What happened? <laughs> she was, she was got a hell of a chin, man. <laughs> yeah, man. Um, <laughs> oh, no, nah, man. Um, Salute, man. Salute to her, man. So, 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 you know, yeah, listen, man. I'm telling you, man, there's a reason for this, man. There's a, there's a reasons for this. If you look at the crime statistics, um, the, they, yo, it is what it is. We're the highest at all that shit. So there's no, the, sifting through black men to find a good one, as they would say it. It's probably they probably look at it like, yes, I'm sure there's good black men out there. I'm sure there are. There's 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 tons of black good men out there, but we don't want to even take the risk to try when we can just go with another race and there's less probability of a murder happening, there's less probability of the family having criminals in it. Because, like, here's the thing. This is what I, I said this about NBA ball players a while back. I swear, I think one factor in the fact that so many NBA players are married or dating non-black women is the fact that as a millionaire, jewelry, condos, homes, always on the road, property always on the road cars the last thing you want is a sister who got some cousins that's gds or some brothers that's cribs <laughs> yeah, you, be comfortable. Yeah, you, be you comfortable. always on the road 
Like you and you and all the time, you got this mansion here, you got another house over here, you got cars and shit, you got money. Them and and your fucking gr- lady's fucking brother's a fucking career criminal. Her she got six cousins that been to the joint. You don't have to deal with that with white people. You don't have to deal with that with Indians. You don't have to deal with that with other races. Asians and shit. You don't have to deal with that. Right. And you would always tell her, you can marry whoever you want, but no cuddlements, right? And so that, in fact, is an, an example of anti-Blackness. Right. And, you know, like for my family, my, my sister married a, a Black man 15 years ago. And this was very long, a long time ago. And, um, you know, my family was supportive. Like, we came together. Mm-hmm. And although it's very different, and we know that everyone is not like this, like, we know that there are a lot of situations where, you know, it's just off limits for like romantic relationships. The second theme was color. Like for instance, let's just take my sister, right? My stepsister, right? Let's just take her for instance, right? Me and my other cousin that we talk, that we that, 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 that I've talked to you about. We're nice guys. Like we ain't like. Fangs, bloody fangs hanging out. We nice guys. You know what I'm saying? We good guys. Now, you know, I mean, we, you know, we can fuck you up and all that shit, but we nice guys, right? We both have extensive criminal records. Like, we both have committed robbery. So, if, say, she was to date a ball player, right? Even though we're nice guys and we cool as shit, we have criminal backgrounds extensive. So it's like you can never win. It's it's so dangerous dating a black woman because of her. If you're wealthy or if you have things, if you're Indian and you own a fucking dry cleaners or some shit, or you fucking your family got a bunch of gas stations or some shit. And some and she go back and she start running her mouth. Oh yeah, um, goddamn Gunga Den. He his family got a bunch of gas stations and they live out here. First thing we thinking is we looking at each other like, you know what I mean? That's the first thing we think like, oh, word. Right, it's go time. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, what, like when y'all going on vacation? Yeah, it's, so it's like. You got to deal with a bunch of bullshit even if the person that you're dealing with is cool. So, um, yes, Beast Life Over 50 says, we need to revoke women's voting rights in this country. Good luck with that, man. But uh, you should never gave it to them in the first place, man. Um, we got a Patel in the building. Stop resisting. Ain't you a Patel? Yep. Okay, man. What are your thoughts on this, man? Oh, black man. Uh, yeah, it's funny. This, 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 this thing, this video came up because just a couple of weeks ago, um, a family friend of my parents called, invited them to a marriage, and uh, she was kind of like hesitant to tell us about her daughter's marriage. Uh, well, not hesitant, but a little, a little wary. So she was like, "Yeah, you know, my daughter's getting married." You know, you're invited, oh, and oh, uh-oh. she he's he's an American, and then uh, my mom was like, "Oh, okay, that's cool, that's no problem." And then later in the conversation, it was like even more like, "Uh, he's he's also black." Hey, oh, by the way, so, yeah, by the way, he's also black. You know, but you know what? They didn't say anything bad about it. They were just happy their daughter got married. They they probably thought that y'all were gonna they they thought y'all were gonna disapprove of it, right? Uh, yeah, maybe. Did you guys? But, you know, it's. Did, did y'all say? Did y'all talk shit? You like, Alan, you could, did you excommunicate her after right. that? Well, I mean, my mom, my mom hung up on the. She hung up the phone when she heard that. <laughs> no, no, but jokes aside, though. She's like, when, click. When the phone was hung Damn. up, though, was there any remarks made? A- absolutely not. No, no, it was actually like, 
uh, I don't know if we might be just more progressive than others, but we're kind of used to that. We've got a lot of people in our community that's married to non, non Patels. Um, even in some of the, like my mom goes to the temple, there's like a couple of uh, females that are married to uh, uh, sons. So, I mean, we're kind of not yeah. used to seeing it, but it's not yeah. that super uncommon. So y'all didn't black her, did you? She got black? Nah, nah, nah. Let me ask you this. Is there a, is there a difference between an American son or, like, let's just say a, a Nigerian or Ghanaian? Or no. Like, they're all sons. They're all sons, yeah. I mean, I, a long time ago, I had a good friend. He was a son, and he was dating a Patel. And we were talking, and he was like, man, I'm about to go meet her dad and stuff like that. And um, I just had to tell him the truth. I was like, man, I'll be honest with you. If you're a son man dating a Patel woman, you got to be a doctor, a lawyer, and an engineer. Like, you got to be that that much to, you know, be like, okay, it's fine. It might not be the same way anymore, yeah, um, but that was like 20 know, years ago. Beautiful. <clears throat> it's not only uh, sons, but in, in the Patel community, there's a lot of colorism. Like, if you even marry a darker Patel, that's kind of like, um, or a darker Patel woman or a man, it's like, we kind of seek out, oh, the first thing we'll ask is, is she fair? Like, the skin. Okay, the lighter no, the skin, I, I, the better it is. I, I'm familiar with the caste system and all that stuff, yeah. And the you know the Dalits or Dravid, Druids or the Dravidians is that what these people yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Those people like they living in the fucking sixth century over there, man. And racism is crazy over there. Um, it's for like romantic relationships. The second theme was colorism. Yeah, um, and you know this is another covert way in the idea that lighter and whiter skin is more beautiful mm -hmm. and darker skin is more stigmatized and not as attractive um, was a, a big theme for pe the feedback that I got. And um, I think that in general, there's a negative stigma. One of the um, I, Instagram users messaged me and she grew up in Texas and she said that from a young age, um, her mom would take her to the salon to get bleaching facials. Yeah. And it wasn't just her. It was like all the, the Indian girls that she knew. Right. How many people do you know that use fair and lovely? Yeah. I mean, like, <laughs> it's a multi-billion dollar. Here's my thing, though, about that. And, and listen, if you're black, right, fine, I get it. You might not understand this. But if you're not black, you're another race and you looking at the world and you see white people, all their countries, those are the countries everybody wanna go to. They win in the Nobel Peace Prize. They're leading every field and everything. They invented all this cool shit. They drop them bombs on people. When they go to war with people, you, it's a wrap. You know what I'm saying? White people like are winning if you're not a black person if you're a black person you're looking at them from a different kind of slant because you've been over in america with them for so many years you got a different perspective but if you're a person who just came over here and you're just looking at the landscape why wouldn't you want to be fucking white it makes perfect sense like i mean it, 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 you you would you would look at everything and you would say, "Hey, I want to be one of them." I was thinking it was kind of like a, yeah. I thought about this too. I was thinking it might be some sort of sort of uh, sort of a emergent property of evolution. It might be something to do with evolution. Because I mean, for some reason, I may be wrong, but it seems like almost every predominantly black and brown country they want to be lighter skinned. I'm not saying everybody, but just in general, they would, they would, like, there's no darkening skin cream that's out there selling billions, you know? No, I believe that. And I, I believe and, that and, too, and I think it could be evolutionary for some reason. I don't know wh what reason that would be, but just like how women in general prefer taller men, they, that's just no. what they prefer. They haven't been trained by taller people to love them more, like them more. That's just what they prefer. And I think, being lighter skinned is probably in general around the world is what's preferred. 
no doubt. And 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 just that there's no way to dispute that that men prefer lighter skinned women. Like there's it's indisputable. So yeah, um, we have to look into that. Million dollar industry in right. India and Asia is yeah. like lightening your skin, but like this is American born girl who's in Texas, like going to a salon mm -hmm. to get her her skin bleached. You yeah, know? And, it's, and the mom is taking them. I mean, that you just got to think about like what is so bad with having dark skin, but we have these Eurocentric notions of beauty to believe that like lighter is better. And this yeah. is where I, I gotta I gotta push back on you fucking Patels. She's blaming that on Eurocentric. When over there, y'all got a caste system. This bitch is blaming that shit on Europeans when they got a whole fucking caste system in India that they've been practicing for fucking 10, 15,000 years. Yeah, I agree with that. I, I never bought into the, it's because of the Europeans we want to be white. I never bought into that. Europeans been coming over to India for at least maybe in spurts 2,000 years. These motherfuckers have had a caste since their whole religion, the Mahabharata, whatever the fuck that shit is called, that's based on treating dark-skinned people like shit. Their whole fucking religion, Hinduism, Hindi, whatever the fuck, that shit is based on treating, keeping dark-skinned people at the bottom of the fucking barrel. Um, of the, the fucking totem pole and the light of people at the top is this bitch blamed it on Europeans when the European when they've been doing that shit for fucking ever over there um, I caught you you fucking whore um, salute the boy Kachina man he says hey op and nation India has a billion people that call their darkest untouchables where's BLM at yeah they call them untouchable you can't such a dark skinned person over there. If you're from a certain cast, you can't touch a dark skinned person. And this bitch tried to blame it on fucking Europeans, man. Um, 